Hinduism is replete with many customs and traditions that have been passed on for so many centuries. All these customs are meticulously described in our scriptures and in fact many of our traditions are also supported by the scientific evidence. One such custom is the application of tilak on our forehead. Tilak is applied in the center of the forehead or what we call the sixth center or Agnaya Chakra which is located between two eyebrows. This spot is considered Agnaya Chakra which is deemed to be the commanding center. It is believed to be the converging point of many nerves. It is the junction where the highest number of neurons meet, hence described as the most important yet sensitive area. This is spiritual and scientific significance to the concept of kumkum, bindi or tilak. This center controls the entire body. This is the only chakra exposed to the outside while the rest of the six chakra chakras are either covered by clothes or by hair. This is the chakra that makes all the decisions. It is immensely important to protect this particular spot from outside forces or evil eyes. Maharishi Ignavalka said that this position is appropriate because Shiva's third eye is located here. After the application of Tilak, pure thoughts are said to emerge. In fact, our scriptures say that a forehead without Tilak is as good as a village without a well, a country without a river, a country without justice, a wealth that is not given away as charity, a flower without smell, and so on. Depending on one's inclination, one may apply tilak, sandal paste, or ash on the center between the eyebrows. Application of tilak, sandal paste, or ash will have a cooling effect, medicinal value, and spiritual influence. Shaivites apply three horizontal lines with the sacred ashes, Tripundra. The Vaishnavites apply three vertical lines, Vodva Pundra, on the forehead. Fingers are used for applying Tilak. While applying Tilak, people chant this mantra, May I remember the Lord. May this pious feeling pervade all my activities. May I be righteous in my deeds. Many scriptures such as Brahma Vaivarta Purana, Skanda Purana, Brahmanda Purana, Padma Purana, Vasudeva Upanishad and other Upanishads talked about the importance of Tilak, applying Tilak on the forehead. According to Brahmanda Purana, the Tilak of correct size marked using the one's fingers will offer God's blessings and support. A tilak in the center of the forehead will bring youth and long life. The chandan made using the third finger will deliver happiness and bounded tilak will eventually bring salvation. Kunkum is the most often applied on the forehead with the finger as one presses on the center of the eyebrows. Both men and women should apply. It is not just only for women only. Our ancient rishis used to press the center of this Agni Chakra when applying Tilak to activate two glands. One is pituitary gland in order to meditate better. The pituitary gland is a small organ at the bottom of the brain. It is the master of the human body. This gland produces and secretes many hormones that travel throughout the body, directing certain processes, stimulating other glands to produce different types of hormones. The application of kunkum on the forehead also activates the pineal gland, which is 
described in many cases as the third eye of Lord Shiva. It may have the highest concentration of energy in the body. The pineal gland is also the dominant source of the body's melatonin level, which affects our mood, immune function, circadian rhythm, and sleeping patterns. Tilak is applied on the forehead between the eyebrows, mostly with the ring finger. It does not mean that all the time we have to use only ring finger. The scriptures have described the importance of using different fingers for different purposes. Middle finger, if we apply with middle finger, it brings prosperity. It is said that applying a telak using the middle finger or majjama is said to bring good luck, long life, and prosperity in one's life. According to Hindu mythology, Saturn is said to bring good luck and it is at the base of the middle finger. So that means by using middle finger and pressing it on the eye on the Agnaya Chakra will bring health, wealth and prosperity into the life of the wearer. And then if you look at the ring finger, it is supposed to bring peace. Here the base of the ring finger is the sun. Sun resides at the base of the ring finger. So it is said that by using the ring finger, a person awakens the Agni Chakra on the forehead and this helps in awakening one's intellect and peace of mind. The sun also physically bestows its glows on the person who applies the tilak using this ring finger. As a matter of fact, we apply tilak on gods and goddesses using only this ring finger. Now, if you look at the thumb finger, it is supposed to bring strength. So the planet Venus is at the base of the thumb. So it is said that applying tilak using the finger, this brings health and wealth to the person. Venus gives life force. Health is the creator of new life and bestower of gentility and politeness. One should also note that if someone is sick in the family, then applying a sandalwood tilak on, on the person every day using the thumb finger will nurse him soon to good health owing to both the presence of Venus and the cooling and rejo rejuvenative qualities of a sandal paste. And the index finger, this is only for to achieve the moksha. This one is at the base of the index finger. It is usually used only for person who has passed away or left the soul from the body because this Jupiter represents immortality. So these are the fingers usually are used for the different purposes. So depending on whatever desires that we have, so we can use one of the three fingers, basically middle finger, ring finger, and thumb. So most important thing is the more you press on the forehead when you are applying tilak, it would be better actually to activate both the glands, pituitary gland and the pineal gland. These two glands are very important. We want to see how these two glands will enable us to live a purposeful life. So this one, when you apply Tilak Agni Chakra, it will activate pituitary gland, which will, med which will help you to meditate better. The pituitary gland is a small gland at the 
bottom of the brain. It is the master gland of the human body. This gland produces and secretes many hormones that travel to the body. Pressing this point of Agni Chakra while applying Tilak for a few seconds every day gives many health benefits. When we apply our Bindi, we adjust it a little, then press it down firmly to ensure that it remains in the place. What are some of the benefits one can accrue by applying Tilak on this forehead? So there are a number of advantages and benefits. I'll simply mention those things without going any further into explanation. So by pressing, it relieves headaches. It clears up our sinuses. It improves our vision and eye health. It keeps our skin young. It prevents depression. It improves hearing. It improves restful sleep and a sense of happiness. It improves the pituitary gland is situated behind the Agnaya Chakra and the pituitary gland is the master gland that controls the function of all these. When these two are balanced, our body is also balanced. So balancing our body actually is another advantage that we can accrue from it. It also boosts memory and concentration. It improves the intuition and awareness. And applying kunkum also negates different difficulties and anti-depression feelings. And also it protects eyes and vibhuti chakra and sahasra chakra on the, the application of kumkum on the third eye protects the Agni Chakra, Vishuddha Chakra and the Sahasrara Chakra from entry of negative negativity or negative thoughts from outside. Application of kumkum prevents the calcification of third eye and helps third eye open and the channels of intuition becomes very strong. Kumkum is made by mixing turmeric and lime. The lime changes the color of turmeric and this particular mixture actually best remedy for headaches. It relaxes the muscles of the forehead and provides instant relief. Because of convenience, we have been using bindi stickers instead of applying kumkum on our forehead. It would have a negative effect on our health as well as our spiritual growth because these stickers are made of glue, metals and other items that are not necessarily good for our skin. At least two, three studies have been done over the last 10 years. One of them by Mishra, Rati and Mulani, they have come to the conclusion the synthetic adhesive used in sticker bindis may lead to eczema, leucoderma and skin irritation. Also, it can also cause white patches on the forehead. In the same way, there is another study by Babu and Venkateshan they also have come to the same conclusion and in fact they have described in detail what is the material that they use in these bindi stickers which may cause the irritation and skin problem. So with this scientific knowledge, both advantages of applying telek on our forehead and putting the sticker on our forehead let us remember one thing. Our scriptures have described meticulously about the importance of applying tilak on our, on our forehead. Let us revive it. Let us practice it. Let us make sure that we put tilak on our forehead. 
in order to make ourselves as hindus and also to promote health and spiritual development every religion practices some of their customs by which you automatically know that they belong to a particular religion only among we hindus do not practice some of these things when op when we go out in public nobody would know who we are but a muslim would know who is muslim a christian also would know who is a christian but no hindu would know who is a hindu because there is no tradition or our custom that we follow in order for us to be recognized as hindus i think once we take pride in our scriptures and the customs and traditions i think we will be advancing the spiritual growth all over the world and also realize the richness of our culture Thank you.